Hey guys, it's Riley and Lucy with Team CR Realty. Today we're back with another market update. Today is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. Let's jump into it. Jumping right into inventory, right now there are 6,935 houses that are active on the market as of right now. Two weeks ago, there were 5,764 houses, and so in a two week time frame, um, active listings have gone up 20.32%. So that's quite a market shift from where we were seeing a decrease in supply every single month. Now we're seeing an increase and an increase in high percentages. Why are high percentages coming? Well, it's because the supply has been so low for so long that a normal market, you know, we should be in the tens of thousands of houses on the market and we've been, you know, under 5,000 houses on the market. So. It, you know, it seems like, oh, this is crazy, but you know, we're, we're slowly trying to get back to a more healthier and healthier market so that people can get back into houses and that it, it's not such a seller's market. But what's causing all of this um, increase in supply? Well, it's, it's a decrease in demand, which comes from an increase in interest rates from the Fed, which comes from an increase in inflation, which ultimately comes from all that money pumped into our economy during the pandemic. So is this causing the market to shift? The short answer is yes. Obviously we're seeing an increase in supply, uh, which we haven't seen in a very long time. So it's causing the market to shift, but it's not causing it, you know, it's, it's not anything really to be worried about as of right now. This is what the Fed planned for. They wanted to increase interest rates so that demand would go down, so that consumer spending would go down, so that, you know, they can basically control inflation. As of all of this happening, buyers are now able to get into their house a little bit easier. They're not dealing with 30 offers on a house and have to go to uh, some company to try to get a cash offer and pay, you know, even more fees on top of what they're paying to get into a house. They, you know, instead of competing with 30 offers, maybe it's maybe it's four, maybe it's three, maybe it's six offers, and a few of them are investors. They're, you know, they're trying to get in at a lower price. It's less competition, which is a good thing right now because the because buyers can now actually get into a house rather than um, not being able to get into the house. Of course, interest rates have gone up. That stinks. But if you are still within your budget, if you can find a house for the price that you are comfortable with your monthly payment, your interest rate is you know, still set, interest rates will continue to rise, the Fed has said this, but eventually they're going to come down again and you're going to have a chance to refinance like a lot of people did last year um, um, at some point to get their payment down from when they originally were financed at 5%, 6%, now they got financed at like a 3.2, a 2.9, a 2.7, something like that and their, their monthly payments were a lot less. As for the market shifting, we're actually still seeing prices continue to go up. So right now the, the monthly median sales price is going to be $466,000 for a house, up from last month of $456,000, that's an increase of 2.3%. Um, and then year over year we're up 24.9% from $373,000. So we're still seeing prices go up even though you know demand is, is softening, supply is going up, it just kind of shows you um, you know where the market's at still and how how kind of unhealthy it got into a seller's market. Moving right into the Cromford report, we can see, and I'll put this graphic up on the screen right now, 28 is the supply. So we're still seeing um, a very, very low supply. Um, again, you know, I've, I've continued to say this, but we're seeing a slight increase in supply, a slight increase in supply, which causes the market index and its, to and, and, and its totality to lessen. So it's 358.9 today. As of um, two weeks ago, this number I think was in like the 370s or 380s. So we're still seeing, you know, the market index lower. But again, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull up a, um, a graphic later on to show you exactly where we're at on the market over like the past like 20 years or so. You'll see the CMI, they've tracked it for that long. And you can kind of see where we're at and how much of a seller's market it was. And then again, demand 100.5. Um, this is a very neutral number. It's right in the middle. Demand's not crazy. Demand really not, never really got out of control here. It was really just the supply being so low and because the supply was so low that you know, it became such a seller's market. 
One more thing that I want to say about active listings is the Cromford report also had a stat from May 1st when they recorded it. There were 6,688 active listings and then this is up year over year 31.7%. So last year this time it was 5,080 active listings. But the most interesting part about this is just last month, so, not, so like April 1st, not May 1st, April 1st, there are 5,051 active listings. So month over month, active listings are up more at 32.4% versus year over year at 31.7%. Kind of interesting, but just another statistic that I wanted to share. So do we have anything to worry about with this? Um, I would say no. Here's the graphic. I'll put it right up on the screen again. Um, before the pandemic, so about two years ago, you can see a much more healthy market. These are the, the you know the top 17 cities um, and kind of where their CMI their CMIs were. So you can see like areas that I deal with: Mesa, Gilbert, Chandler, Phoenix, Tempe. You know all these are in below 200s. You know, and so you can see, uh, you know the the versus what we were just looking at. We're almost in the 400s, we're 358. So we still have quite a ways to go um, to come to you know, a much more healthy, stable market. And so we're still in a crazy seller's market. It's just you know, finally shifting a little bit um, because of those interest rates. And I'll go ahead and throw up this other graphic on the screen as well right now. This is the long-term period of the CMI um, over the past like 20 years or so. Um, and you can see the different shifts of the CMI go up and down. And right now we're up in, again, it's like 358. You can see where that balance, that blue balance line is with the CMI. So we still, that balance line is kind of just a neutral market. One, every one house that's listed, there's one buyer out there for it. Right now, so there's, it's a 358. So that means for every house that there's listed, there's 3.58 buyers for it. So that has been this week's market update. Today is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. If you have any questions at all, put them down in the comments below. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. But again, we'll see you next week for the next market update. Thanks again. Take care.